let me explain the distributive property which is used uh, you may have used in numbers multiplying numbers so let me take a simple example say in number uh, when you're multiplying two numbers suppose if the question was say what is 6 times 18 so if I don't know 6 times 18 this is 18 well I can say this is 6 times 10 plus 8 the same thing in algebra is you don't write times so you write 6 bracket 10 plus 8 so you have learned that what you do is you're multiplying 6 to 10 and 6 to 8 so this is same as 6 times 10 plus 6 times 8 and this is called the distributive property you're distributing 6 you're multiplying 6 to 10 that is and then you're going to multiply 6 to 8 so this same thing we're going to use in algebra and this is basically what we do in algebra when we're expanding brackets so 60 plus 48 the only difference is we know the answer here which is 108 okay so let me do one more example what would happen if you got a minus in between suppose you want to do say 8 6 times 99 so you can write 6 times 99 like this well you can go 6 times 6 times 99 99 is same as 100 take away 1 so well you can say well this is 6 times 100 take away 6 times 1 so which is 600 minus 6 okay and 600 minus 6 is 594 okay now what would happen suppose you let's make up some question now this is what we do in algebra in a different way but the only difference is you can't write the final answer okay so let me say what if it is negative 2 okay let me give you a simple example negative 2 times uh, say negative 6 well two negatives uh, when you multiply two negative numbers, so negative times negative is going to be positive, and that is 12. So you should be knowing this. So two, multiplying two negatives gives you a positive answer. You can check this on a calculator. So let me show this on a calculator. So whenever you're struggling, you can use a calculator. Negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12 okay so now how would you do this suppose you have a question like this a negative 4 times uh, say 99 okay so let me do this on a calculator without so let's first see what's the answer negative 4 times 99 we know the answer is minus 396 so let's write this minus 396 well can I do this without a calculator well this is same as the same thing can be written as negative 4 times 100 take away 1 this 99 I'm writing 100 minus 1 so now you to use the distributive property so this is this is same as negative 4 times 100 and then you got a minus sitting here minus negative 4 times 1 you're multiplying this negative 4 to 101 so I put a hundred sorry minus here so well negative 4 times 100 is negative 400 and this is this negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 now taking away negative means you're adding so this is negative 4 400 plus 4 which is negative 396 okay now one more thing I want to explain here yeah, so now when you're solving equation uh, uh, 
you remember I told you whatever you do on one side you have to do on the other side so have we done the similar thing in, in number so yeah so let's make up a simple number equation say say 14 plus 5 I know this is 19 but I want to write this as 20 take away 1 does it make sense so 14 plus 5 is 19 and 20 take away 1 is 19 so this is a number equation so what if I so I want to I don't want this negative 1 here but I want to maintain this equality sign so what if I add 1 to this side if I add 1 to this side what should I do on the other side I should add 1 to this side so now you've got a new equation okay what's the new equation so this is 14 plus 6 is equal to 20 so this and this gets cancelled so 5 plus 1 is 6 and 14 plus 6 is 20 okay so this is a new equation so what if I say want to take away 14 from this side if you take away 14 from this side you have to take away 14 from this side so this and this gets cancelled so you got a new equation 6 is equal to 6 okay so now let me do some more uh, manipulation say say 2 times 7 plus 6 is how much so we know 2 times 7 is 14 plus 6 is 20 is 3 times 5 15 plus 5 does it make sense yeah so this is 14 plus 6 is 20 and 15 plus 5 is 20 okay so what if I divide okay so let me so this is uh, let's take away okay so let's divide the whole thing by 2 can we do that so if you divide this by 2 you can divide this by 2 you can divide the whole thing by 2 so what happens so this 2 and 2 gets cancelled now 2 goes in 6 3 times so this is 7 plus 3 which is we know is 10 and this is 15 so let me write like this so this is 15 divided by 2 plus 5 divided by 2 so which is what 7 plus 3 is equal to 15 divided by 2 plus 5 divided by 2 is 20 divided by 2 so can you say 7 plus 3 is equal to 10 okay so th these are manipulations that we do in algebra okay so let me let's make up a simple one more equation say which will be helpful when you're solving linear equations so let me say let's say this is 2 say 4 times say uh, 8 plus 15 uh, is equal to how much so this is 4 times uh, 8 plus 15 is 23 so let's use a calculator so 4 bracket 8 plus 15 is 92 so let's say that is 90 plus 2 okay now what can we do so this is same as saying well this is 4 times 8 so this is 4 times 8 plus 4 times 15 is equal to 90 plus 2 let's see whether it works so this is what is 4 times 8 well 4 times 8 is 30 2 and 4 times 16 is 4 times 15 is 60 which is 90 plus 2 so this is 92 and this is also 92 now let's apply what we learned now to solve simple linear equations so well you got 2 times bracket means times m plus 4 plus 3n is equal to 5 okay so the first thing is we have to distribute this so let's let's understand this separately so two brackets so you can do this separately 
So what does this mean? So this means 2 times m plus 2 times 4. So well that is how much? This is 2m plus 8. So I have explained this so I can directly write this is 2m plus 8 plus 3n is equal to 5. Now some of you may wonder how can you have an equation like this where you have got 8 2m plus 8 plus 3n is equal to 5. The reason you are struggling or you can't understand an equation like this is because you are thinking of a whole number which is a positive number. Now in, when you are solving an equation it is possible that the number m can be positive, it can be, oh, I should have written an m here. So let me change this to m. So the number m or the unknown can be positive, it can be negative, it can be a decimal, it can be a fraction. So you can't at times think of the number that goes in place of m. So the next step that we do is we are going to group the like terms or collecting the like terms. So this is two lots of m plus three lots of m is five lots of m. So I'm going to write the next step like this. This is 5m plus 8 is equal to 5. So now you've got a plus 8 here. To undo plus 8, we have to do the opposite of plus 8, which is minus 8. So you do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so this is plus 8 and minus 8 gets cancelled. So 5 lots of m is negative 3. 5 take away 8 is negative 3. Now to undo this 5, what we are going to do is, you are going to divide both sides by 5. So 5m divided by 5 is negative 3 divided by 5. I want to do without a calculator, so this is same as negative 6 over 10. I have doubled negative 3 to negative 6 and 5 doubles to 10 and that is negative 0 0.6. Okay, let's do one more. Say mm, 3 bracket 3 times y plus 8 take away 7y is equal to 12. Okay, so yeah, again the same distributive property, you're multiplying 3 times y plus 8. So you're multiplying 3 to y, so this is 3 times y plus 3 times 8. So this is 3y plus 24. So you can do the side working like this. So in place of this I can write 3y plus 24 take away 7y is equal to 12. So now let's do the next step. You got 3 lots of y take away 7 lots of y. So let's write that. 3y take away 7y. Well, that is negative 4y. Okay, so this is negative 4y plus 24 is equal to 12. Now, the next step I'm going to do something very interesting. I can see 24, 4, 24 and 12 can be divided by 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the whole thing by 4. So I'm going to divide this by 4 this by 4 and this by 4. Okay, we'll check this answer. So what will happen? So this is negative y plus 6 is equal to 24 divided by 4 is 6 and 12 divided by 4 is 3. Now to the opposite of ne to undo this plus 6, you have to take away 6. So you have to take away 6 from this side. So this and this gets cancelled. So negative y is equal to negative 3. 3 take away 6 is negative 3. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So negative 1 times negative y is equal to negative 1 times negative 3. So well negative 1 times negative y is y and negative 1 times negative 3 is 3. So y should be 3. So let's check this on the calculator. So without the calculator what are we saying? So when y is 3, so what we're saying is 3 bracket 3 plus 8 
minus 7 times 3 should give you 12. So what is this? So this is 3 times 11 minus 21. This is 33. Take away 21 is 12. So your answer is right. Now I would like you to solve which means to find the value of the unknown. Okay, so go through the process. Basically, you have to expand the bracket or use the distributive property. So let me re uh, repeat. So what you do for this question is you have to multiply 4 to x and 4 to 6. So And then you have to simplify and then solve. So to, when you're simplifying, you're grouping the like terms. So the x is with x and the numbers with n numbers. So uh, here we go. So solve this and once you get the answer, put the answer back in the equation and see whether it works. You can use a calculator to check your answer.